Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the highest common factor of two numbers using a listing strategy. And HCF is just short for highest common factor. Now to understand what highest common factor means, let's reflect on each of these three words. Let's think about factor first. A factor is just a number that goes into another that could be divided into it. So if we were to ask for the factors of 10, we want numbers that go into 10. So one is a factor of 10 because you can divide 10 by one without remainder. Two is a factor of 10, five is a factor of 10, and 10 is a factor of 10. You can divide any number by itself. What about the factors of 15? So if we list out those, well, one is a factor of 15. One is a factor of every number. Uh, you can't divide 15 by two. You can divide it by three. Uh, you can divide it by five. And you can divide it by itself. So these are the factors of 10. These are the factors of 15. Now, if we want a common factor of 10 and 15, it means we need to find a factor which is common to both lists. That is, in both lists. Well, can you see that five is in both lists? And one is in both lists as well. So one is a common factor of 10 and 15. And so is five. Five is also a common factor of 10 and 15. Now we want the highest of those common factors because one is not gonna be an interesting common factor because any two whole numbers you think of are always gonna have a common factor of one. So we want this highest common factor here, which is five. So the highest common factor is five. That's the answer for this first question. So the strategy here is just to list the factors of both numbers and then just find the highest number which is common to both of those lists of factors. So let's do that for this second question here. We want the factors of 60. Well, let's do the factors in pairs. So 1 times 60 gives you 60. Uh, 2 times 30 gives you 60. 3 times 20 gives you 60. 4 times 15 gives you 60. 5 times 12 gives you 60, and then I've run out of space stupidly, and then you finally got six and 10 give you 60 as well. So they're all the factors of 60, there's quite a lot. And then what about 84? Well, one and 84 times to give 84, two and 42 times to give 84, three and 28 multiply to give 84, four and 21 multiply to give 84, six times 14 gives you 84, and seven times 12 give you 84, and I believe that is it. So let's look for a factor which is common to both. In fact, because we want the highest common factor, let's look at the ends of the list. So I'm gonna go down the list of factors for 84 until I see one in the other list. So 84, no, is not in there. 42, no, is not in there. 28, no, is not in there. 21, no, is not in there. 14, no, that's not in there. 12, yes it is in there. We can see that 12 is in both lists, so therefore the highest common factor is 12.